guys, it's Spacey Sims, and we are back with part three of Life is Strange, episode two. Um, that's a lot of numbers and things in there. Um, so last time, uh, Max made it to the diner, and we kind of just poked around and talked to everybody and annoyed everybody. So we are actually going to jump right in where we left off with her sitting down in her booth. Um, yes. Uh, and then it looked like Joyce was going to notice us. Since we've been wandering around talking to people and poking at everything and she hasn't seen us. She's real observant for a waitress, I'm just saying. Okay. Here we go. Now she noticed us. Hi there, dear. There you there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. And young. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. You should. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. Yep. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Yep. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Especially because all her friends keep going I missing. I'm so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. Oh, I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Oh. Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. You know, it's only been like a decade. I know no, that sucks for you. It's only been like five well, she years. She hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. It's not wrong blue hair. Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? We already went over this. Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. Oh, come on. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. <sighs> mm. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Oh. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Oh. Um, we want waffles. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Sir, now everyone's... finish your coffee. I'm sure everyone's disappointed I didn't choose bacon omelette, but you know what? Sometimes you just need to pass on the bacon. Making bacon pancakes. What are we looking One at? One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Ask about our daily specials, whale. Why are we reading this? Okay, so do we need to... Free refills with breakfast. Yeah, we're going to chug our coffee. And... One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love... Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Let's look out the window. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. Do you see like the weird cloud, the sky I guess thingies? I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Nope, it would be a forever. This is a diner, not a bar. We'll drink our coffee, no I guess. Beer? 
Looks like you had plenty. Stick with bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Order ready. Boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo. Uh no beer? What what kind of dive is it? Oh, this? graffiti. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been <laughs> here. Incoming. Um, uh, I'm like, woo! I can I spin can my hear head your around. your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Oh, Nobody needs to rescue me. I like Joyce. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act <laughs> last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Man, only you one. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. Oh. What is this shit on the jukebox? Hey, we didn't put a banjo tune that on. That's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. It's really hoping Come we could eat our on, waffles. It's a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. You have a tube of glitter in there, right? Nada. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. You Look. need to... Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Okay, key with a bear. Cigarettes. Money. Are we supposed to know exactly how much money she has? Because, like... What is that, 86 cents? Okay. And a ticket. Okay. And... You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. Well, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. You have cigarettes? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, I don't freaking remember. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Oh, okay, that was a good Amazing. guess. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Uh, keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, pixel, uh, it was a panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. Yeah. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? What was it, 86 cents? Yeah, I think it was. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. She's rich. So that was cool. Show me more. Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Um, we're going to go with 11.10. 11.10 a.m.? That is so wrong. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Space skip. Okay, let's look at the parking ticket. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and uh, don't forget anything. So, do we actually? It was actually seven cigarettes. Oh my god, that was funny. So we already got that. 
Uh, it was 1034. Dang it! I was gonna guess that too. I was like, ah, uh, okay. All right, so let's you got this, Max. rewind. Now rewind and blow Chloe's Now we have mind. to go through all of this. We'll go through the parking ticket first, since uh, can we just rewind and do that one over? Well, this is me telling you. Oop. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Yep. Parking ticket. A parking. T yep. You know me well, but. Okay. Uh, 10:34 a.m. 10:34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> uh, keys. Your car keys. Yep. Duh. Wait. Yep. Panda keychain. A cute. Yep. Not bad. You do have that. I yep. And cigarettes. I'm pretty. Yep. Yes, you know I'm a. Sm yep. Sorry. I don't want to have to repeat Seven. the every single the thing that we just went through. Allows you to count. Yep. Amazing. Money. Hmm. Money. Clearly. I Money. Eighty-six cents. Eighty-six cents. That's right. Look. <laughs> Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. It's kind of creepy, isn't it? I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. You haven't even eaten any. good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I love how she constantly references old songs. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments. Oh my god! You dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay, so... Oops! Did Joyce? you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Guy drops his cup. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? Cop gets call. You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside. Fight club. He started it. Should I'm be writing this down. It. And crazy lady goes to the bathroom. Who gets you into the bathroom? That's the best song I've this heard. This is yet. sure the hell better than that. And other jukebox garbage. skips. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Okay. So. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay. Uh, it was the trucker drops his mug, right? The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Um, and then... Alert on cop's radio. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. And then Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce beats them. Oh, Justin and Trevor fight, and... Oh, and Joyce stops them. Okay. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and... Joyce okay, so I may misunderstood that good. second one. Can't wait to see what happens. Jukebox goes crazy as a car. I don't remember what happens to the jukebox. I'm just gonna say fly lands the on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a fly lands on it. Okay, I don't it really remember mess. why it went crazy. But let's see if everything happens <laughs> like you said. <laughs> I'm really not gonna pay attention. Okay, so I think that's the trucker guy, right? I don't know who that guy is. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Okay. Really? No. I thought it was a mug, you. not a glass. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I dick. think not, Slap Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. So what happened to the jukebox? Oh, it was a cockroach. This is a That's sad day in Max. Okay. Let's go back. 
Okay, so it was a cockroach. I didn't see the cockroach when I first looked at it, which is disgusting. Okay, so now let's do this again. I'm going to predict. Okay. So the uh, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug. And yep. So what happens next? And then the cop and his partner leaves. I guess and his partner leaves? I don't know. He answers it. He... But he doesn't eat a donut. Does he? I... I don't know. Okay, I don't know. The he... cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just... I don't remember that. I don't know. Uh, okay. Just an... Yep. This is getting good. And the cockroach... The jukebox yeah. goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Ew. Pretty bizarro, Max. Okay. So can we, like, skip this as it's going down? Oh, maybe it actually... Oops. This is different. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off uh, to okay, so the, the okay that was him, the partner leaving. Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You put Ew. <laughs> jukebox. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever. You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. <laughs> Maybe you made a move oh, on Chloe. me I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. Oh, that's dangerous. You need dangerous. a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Um, okay, so should we is there anything we can poke around? Uh food counter. We've already looked at that. There's nothing. Hold on. Let's tab and look at our journal. Nope. That's not what I wanted. Oh, we met Joyce. Let's read about Joyce. Okay. Talking to Joyce Price after five years was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again, especially right back in ye old, ye oldie Two Whales Diner. That clinking of silverware and the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe, even in mischief. Doubt she smiles at her hijinks now, but they still banter like mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how often Joyce relives that day. That's the worst kind of rewind, when you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, what would I do? I wonder what happened to William. They never really told us. Um... I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him, disturbing as it sounds. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life for herself. Obviously, it didn't work out that way with Chloe. I hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. And let's see, we got a new picture. Okay, so there's 142, a deer, someone staring out a window, and some science lab stuff. We have some texts. Um, I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Oh, okay, so we missed that. Oh, that's fine. Um. Okay, so that was that. I ran into Warren, or rather, Warren was waiting to run into me. Naturally, he wanted to know what the hell happened in the parking lot with the Chloe and Nathan show. Once again, I felt like a dick because I should have gotten a hold of Warren to see if he was okay after we just left him in the lot. I do owe Warren. I only told him a little about what's going on with Nathan. The less he knows, the better for him. I would love to at least tell him about my ability to fucking reverse time and space, but ironic, oh yeah, ironically, I don't think it's the right time or space. Besides, he would want to marry me immediately, just so he could have his own human time machine, or capture me for scientific experiments, or make me to go to the drive-in with him. Oh wait, I did say I would go to the drive-in with him. Hope he doesn't make a lame move on me. Not that he would, 
egomaniac. Warren and I do have a lot in common, but he's like a super cool geek brother. Anyway, I definitely need a movie escape. Oh, poor Warren. He's so in love with you. What in the hell is this? It's disturbing. Um, okay. Before catching the bus to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan talking to David, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtrack ride to the Two Wheels Diner. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although now there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts um, uh, than when we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate old ships and a big ocean. Chloe was like, duh. So I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. Better still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch. After, oh, after William died, she wanted to move forward with a new life and husband. Chloe didn't want to accept that. Joyce wasn't happy about Chloe getting busted with weed. I really should have stepped up and taken the hit instead of Chloe. I feel bad that Joyce has to defend David for laying the smack down on his own stepdaughter. William was always so kind and gentle with us. Can't even imagine how Chloe would be if he hadn't died. Um, and then this is like, where's the little mappy thing? Okay, so now we have seen... Didn't we already see that? But okay, I guess whatever. That's different. So now we have the Two Wheels Diner. So now there's all these other places that we can go. Okay. So I don't think there's anything other was interesting. Everything else that we've seen already. Um, we've already seen everything. I don't think there's anything new or different. Uh, I think I'm ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. My stomach plans ahead. Let's talk to them. What's up, Justin? Your stomach is Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> yeah. You cracked me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. Ugh. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Interesting. Uh huh. Did we? I saw Trevor, and Trevor's right here. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. You were you were right there when I just said yeah, it. Yeah, I saw you coming Wait, out of he's Dana's not... room. <laughs> Yeah, loopholes. I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? He's right he got there. Raised. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh wow, you saw Trevor, and then Trevor's like, "Hey, I know you saw me. I know. I was just telling Justin. He's Justin's right there. I was just. I'm standing a foot away from you. Of course you heard me. Tard." Ooh, what's TV? Hold on, TV, 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 TV. Look at the TV. Coming up at noon, KBay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So, stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for what? the real story. What? Yo, dude, I'm like the weather guy. I'm totally like talking about the sun, the snow and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, whoa. And you were like, whoa. And we were like, whoa. It's like the turtle from Finding Nemo. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my Slash flounder. Bus. Don't even answer. We have places to go and full to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. <sighs> um, We can rewind. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? I think we should, because I think there's something seriously wrong with Kate, so we Thanks, need to- Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. 
I'm chilling with you, okay? So Kate's now, depressed and she's probably rock. gonna like drown herself or something. <sighs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. No, I. Th it's not like I won't see her in class later. We're going to uh, answer Kate because that's the way we should be. Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, that's Nathan. You know it's Nathan. I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. All right, this is the perfect place to leave it. I know it's a little bit shorter, um, but. I don't want the parts to be super long because that first part was super duper long. So I'm going to leave it here and I will see you guys next time. Remember, give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.